soon as I load this page, then here we have this carousel which shows us the movies. And if I click on any of the movie, then here we can see a pop up where we have the details related to that movie. So today we are going to build this intermediate level functionality. Welcome to for the third video of the JavaScript series. So here we are grabbing our HTML elements. And after that, here we are setting our constants that is API key, image base URL, and the poster size. And here this function that is fetch trending movies helping us to do an API call. And remember that this is an asynchronous operation. So that's why we are utilizing here async and this await. And then we are getting all the data here and we are parsing our response into JSON. And then the results we are passing to this render movies function. And then we are hiding the spinner and showing our carousels. Okay, now let's take a look on our render movies function. So as you can see, whatever the results we are getting in the form of movies, we are looping over them with the help of for each loop. So here we are creating one div element and then assigning a class to it. And we are also providing some ID to it. And for each movie here, we are creating this movie card. And later we are appending it to movies track. And let me show you one more thing here. Here I'm using this, the movie DB APIs. And for that we require an API key. So this is the API key that I am using here. And if you also need an API, then you can visit developer.moviedb.org. Okay, so in this code, the main part was how we will fetch the movie list. And then from the results of those movies, we have to create the cards. And from all of these cards, we have to build the carousel. Okay, so this was the whole overview of the code. In case you need this code, then GitHub repository link is present inside the description of this video. Now, before we take a look on our there is a request that please share this video with your friends and don't forget to drop a like and here we have the UI.